I don't understand reaction channels. Like I get the concept in theory, but I don't understand the appeal necessarily. And you might be confused watching that. You're like, no, you've, you've, you've watched some things on your channel in the past from TV shows to movies to YouTube videos. And the thing is, you're right. I have done that. But the difference is, I try and put as little of whatever the fuck I'm talking about in the video because I want whatever the fuck I'm saying to shine through. I like to hear myself speak, so I want y'all to hear me speak as much as possible. The reaction videos don't really operate like that. They play whatever it is in its entirety and then give a little bit of commentary, just enough where legally you can kind of be like, well, like, I guess it's fair use, maybe. And you might be wondering, okay, Noah, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Can you give me an example? And of course the fuck I can. That's why I'm making in the goddamn video, you fucking moron. The person I'm gonna be talking about in this video is Sniper Wolf. Also, Mr. Beast has a channel like this, but I'm scared to make a video talking about Mr. Beast because he's like super popular and like really well liked. And I feel like if I criticize him in any way, the people are gonna come on me. That didn't sound right. Now, if you don't know who Sniper Wolf is, she's kind of been on the internet for a hot minute. I don't really know much about her, but I'm pretty sure she got her start playing like Call of Duty, hence the Sniper Wolf. That could be wrong. I don't know. But somewhere along the way, she transitioned to like reacting to other videos. And again, when I say react, I mean react. There's a difference between reaction videos and commentary videos. In my eyes, a reaction video is where the focus is more on what's being reacted to as opposed to what the speaker is saying. And then a commentary video, it's more on like what the speaker is saying as opposed to what the fuck the video's on. But let me play you just a little clip so you understand exactly why I don't understand the appeal of this content. I promise, I'll do whatever this filter says. This is your sign to chop your hair okay. off. Ah, she did it. She actually did it. She didn't even chop it off. It's a chop. I'm gonna give myself a little trimmy trim. She buzz cut it off. She really said whatever this filter says. I'm gonna do it. And that's dedication. I'm gonna be like, never mind. Let me do another one. What? Do you understand my confusion now? She just watched a TikTok in its entirety and then was like, yo, let me describe what happened in the TikTok that we both just watched. Hello, it's Editor Noah. I completely forgot to mention this, but the title of that fucking video is People Who Didn't See It Coming, but literally the person in the video saw it coming. They fucking cut their hair of their own volition. What the fuck? The title didn't even make fucking sense. And that's their content. That's her content. It's pretty much if you was to sit down with your friend and just watch them watch TikTok. Except y'all can't have conversation about it because it's a fucking YouTube video. But as you can see, this shit is popping off. This motherfucker got 31 fucking million subs. And her videos average around 2 to like 6 million views a video. Which is a fuck ton, especially for the fact that like no effort is put into that. And I understand there's gonna be people watching this video saying, oh my god, you're just jealous of her. Jealous of the money she has in her pocket? Maybe. But I have integrity as an artist. I view my videos as an art form. I'm arrogant and I'm proud. I have pride. <laughs> Now, I understand that most likely her audience is more towards the younger end, but I don't feel like that's an excuse to just like not put the effort in. Cause like, is this morally wrong? Maybe I could see some arguments for it, but really I kind of just look at it and I'm like, mm. Mm. I don't know, just as a creator on this platform, it kind of rubs me the wrong way. It gives me bad vibes. And let me tell you, I have a great vibe detector. My vibe detector is off the chart. So if I get bad vibes, you should understand that whatever the fuck's giving off those vibes is bad news, bad fucking news. I'm not, I'm not saying it's gonna kill you if you watch these videos, but it's like, ah! I think the main thing is I see creators such as myself or just other people that I love to watch and I can see the dedication and passion that these people put into their videos. To a lot of creators, they make their videos the same way a fucking painter paints a goddamn painting. It's fucking art. Whereas I look at a channel like this and I see a commodity. I see someone pushing a product. I mean, shit, look at the fucking thumbnails. If, like the thumbnails look exactly the same because they use the same fucking faces in the thumbnails. I don't know. To me, it's just it's like, it's like a, it's a lack of integrity, but it's working. This motherfucker lives in a mansion out in LA. Like, this shit is working. But would you rather have money? Or would you rather have your fucking pride? God damn it. Also, big news. We got a fucking Google forum that you could fill out. Some of y'all might not know this, but I'm not the most up to date on pop culture things. I put a lot of effort to not be terminally online anymore. But there's a lot of topics that I miss out on because of that. And I want to rectify that. So if you ever have something that you're like, fuck, I think, no, I think she would make a great video on this topic. Go on to the description of the video. You'll see the fucking link. And then you can fucking submit an idea. Anyways, if you like this video, click this video right here. I'm sure you'll like that one as well. Have a great day. Bye-bye.